Hey everybody, it's Cinephile Mike, your friendly neighborhood Cinephile, and today is day 27 of the 95 Days of Award Season posts, and I am here to discuss Sarah Pauly's Women Talking. Special shout out to Debretta and Denise, this was the review that you voted for, and I hope you enjoy. Now, Women Talking tells the story of a small religious community in 2010 who, for an unknown number of years, have had the women drugged and sexually assaulted and in some cases impregnated by the men in the community. Not exactly a great community to be in. However, after one woman finally stands and fights back, which causes them to send the accused attackers to be held by the police for their own protection, we begin to think there might be a change. However, we quickly see that the other men in the community are going to post bail for the attackers and side with them. The women are given two days to decide whether to forgive the men or leave and risk excommunication. In this, the women, who were never formally educated, vote on a course of action. Do they do nothing and stay? Do they fight back or do they leave? As of the vote, the majority of the votes go to fighting back or leaving, of which there is a tie. Not a lot of people want to stay silent. They then determine a group of eight women from different families to weigh the pros and cons of these two options and to make the decision for the women in the community. This is only the beginning of the film, so if it sounds like I gave a lot of spoilers, I really didn't. This is just going to set up the premise. Then we are going to have a rather tense hour and a half or so where we will see this debate play out. The women, led by fierce performances from Rooney Mara, Claire Foy, and Jesse Buckley, they begin to weigh said pros and cons. The only other individual invited to witness this is the rather passive August played by Ben Wishaw, a character who was formerly of the community, sent away because of a situation with the family, and has recently returned to the community, having been sufficiently educated that now he is the school teacher of the boys in the community. They have asked him to take the minutes so that the women will have a record of the events for the future. Now, as the discussion begins, we quickly see how each woman's personal beliefs are at war with their religious beliefs. Not an easy war to wage. And through all of this, we will eventually see the decision that these women make. Now, as stated, the performances are all stellar. The setting, mostly set on the second tier of a barn, sets the stage for this debate. Sarah Pauly deftly adapts Miriam Toe's novel with a focus on getting right into the point. Oftentimes, films in one setting that are more dialogue-driven as opposed to action-driven can be a bit stagnant, but Polly jumps this obstacle with great dexterity and creates a very watchable film. Now, this film has already won the Independent Spirit Robert Altman Award for Best Picture and has an almost guaranteed spot at the Oscars for Best Picture, which is a category it also is nominated for in the rest of the Independent Spirit Awards. Additionally, I feel that Polly has a good chance to get nominated for Adapted Screenplay and could potentially enter the director conversation. In very much the strong voices that she projects through the characters and in her own, it's very reminiscent of Greta Gerwig with her um, Oscar-nominated film Lady Bird. Now, as for the performances that could potentially be nominated, there are so many good ones in this film, they could split the votes and end up missing out, but Buckley and Foy do stand out the most and could have the chance to do so. Now, I give this film four out of five stars, and I think the film is very relevant given our current times and is right up there with the topics and the likes of Maria Schrader's She Said, also in this season's awards contenders, which I reviewed earlier in this series. Now, as of this post, if you'd like to see Women Talking, you can catch it in theaters. It is in select theaters right now and goes into a wider release on January 20th. I will see you tomorrow as I continue the 95 Days of Award Season posts. And until then, this is Cinephile Mike saying, take a break and watch something new.